people as usual, it's your boy Ambassador Ambassador again giving just his opinion, it's just my opinion. As usual, I want you guys to like, share, subscribe because that's the only way we can get Africans to think. Take these conversations, share it in your groups. Why are you guys just talking about who won this match? Who is the handsome guy in this telenovela? Please talk about these things. These are the things that really matter to our life and our existence. It's not that football match. When it's all said and done, we are not having a dime from the share of Manchester United. We are not going to even have a flight. Tomorrow we are not eating. They don't even care and they don't even know. So guys, please, let's have these relevant conversations. Now, what are we talking to about? What are we talking to you guys today about this um, conservation, which is, is, is not usually a topic I talk about, but professionally, that's what I'm very, very much engaged in, conservation and development. And um, yeah, I like that profession because it gives me a sense of impact to an extent. Although there are lots of question marks and lacunes within some of those systems, but at least it's the closest thing to peace I can find in a prof professional video. With that being said, the video we're talking, we're sharing right now, or we'll be watching, is with regards to how the human race or Africa is supposed to help the human race when it comes to conservation efforts. Africa's commitment to economic transformation, reducing poverty and inequality, and enhancing human well-being is essential and demands significant capital investment. Moreover. The global goal of achieving net zero by 2050 cannot be realized without Africa's active participation, a failure which would jeopardize humanity's survival, not just African survival, humanity's survival. It is imperative to understand with substantial investment in our vast energy resources, Africa cannot only provide power to all its citizens, including the 600 million currently without access, but also significantly advanced global decarbonization efforts. So I think it's the Kenyan president who is talking about the role um, Africa has to play when it comes to some of these conservation objectives. And um, yeah, Africa is expected to save the human race. That's a strong statement to make. But if we look at the grand scheme of things, yes, Africa is expected to save the human race. We have that youthful population, which at a certain point, it will be the determining factor for the human race. We have that arable land, which at a certain point, will be the determining factor for the human race. We have those trees and the forest, which at a certain point, is going to be the determining factor for the human race. So, I always tell people, I'm not even talking from the perspective of Africa should dominate the world, no. I'm just talking from the perspective of a fairer world is a better world for everybody. But for some reason, some people don't think it's a very short term and myopic thinking approach to feel that, okay, let me seize everything from everybody and eat it all alone. Everybody dies. You cannot live alone. After a while, you are forced to die. Because the services you are performing or producing or providing the ecosystem is lost and then you cannot live alone. Then the whole thing crumbles. So if we strangle Africa out of, let me call it the human race, a lot of things will fall until that happens. God forbid it happens. But if it happens, and the more Africa is losing out some of those things, the more the human race will be feeling the impact of the services Africa was performing or providing, paid or unpaid for. So, some of those that don't go into the detail kind of become very, very political and very, very controversial. Bit by bit, as we have these conversations, I'll be touching the things which I feel are sensitive or controversial. But in the beginning, it's good to start with the easier stuff, easier to digest, easier to swallow. So, when it comes to conservation, I always tell people like, it's either all for one or one for all. Africa is one of the all, but if all of us don't put our hands together, it's not going to work. And when things start falling apart, as our great writer said, it might start falling in Africa, but believe me, it's going to fall globally. The world for wise is sufficient deal. So, as I always say, Africa might suffer more at a certain point, but we are all going to suffer down the line, maybe one before the other. And we're not even too sure that Africa will suffer the most. Because like, I remember when the COVID thing broke out, I was really scared. Like, if these guys are dying like this in Europe, what happened in Africa? But what happened? Africa was already, we had been living with COVID like brothers and sisters, where COVID could not harm us anymore. And it just flew across Africa because it would have been... It would have been mass murder, mass graves everywhere. We don't have the health systems, we don't have the means, we don't have the finance to put all the checks and balances which the Europeans put and they were still dying like that. 
for some reason nature had already put in place on checks and balances of Africa and it did not go down the way we we're thinking it would. So Ceteris parables, everything looked like Africa might suffer the most if global warming and all these other things come down. But we are not too sure because COVID showed us at times our calculations are not that accurate when it comes to some of those things. Lastly, I'll end what Martin Luther King said when he said, we either work together as brothers or perish as fools. I am not quoting him, but it just brings that to mind because at times it looks like it's Africa that is begging or fighting for their survival or they are being manipulated. Yes, that's what it looks like. When you look at the bigger picture, the humanity, the human race is losing and humanity is losing the battle against global warming, hunger, poverty. And when it hits, it's going to touch all of us. I just remember that there was this guy who was putting on the red pullover who said it at one time that it's a global battle, all for one, one for all. If we don't stand together, we are all losing it. As usual, the boy ambassador, ambassador is here trying to ignite those conversations, asking you guys to like, share, subscribe, take this conversation, copy the YouTube link, share it in your WhatsApp group, share it on Facebook, give your opinion with it, share it on LinkedIn, so more people, especially Africans, can get engaged and start talking about relevant things. I don't care who won the last match. I don't have cable TV to watch telenovela. Those things are not that important to me. But these are the subjects that matter for the African and the human race as a whole. As usual, Super Ambassador, Ambassador, I'm out. Just my opinion.